Right, having derived some formulae now, we're now going to for a continuous uniform distribution x belonging u to a to 7, find the expected value of x, the variance of x, the commutative distribution f of x, and the median and the interquartile range. So using the formulas now, so e of x was a plus b over 2. So a is going to be 2 and b is going to be 7. So e of x will be 2 plus 7 over 2, which is 9 over 2, which is 4.5. The variance of x is going to be a minus b squared over 12. So just using a formula, be a formula booklet. So that's going to be 2 minus 7 squared over 12, which is minus 5 squared over 12. So the variance of x will be 25 over 12. Now you need to uh, learn the formula for the community distribution function. So f of x is x minus a over b minus a for a being between uh, for x being between a and b. So f of x will be equal to zero if x is less than two. Then x minus a, so x minus two over b minus a, seven minus two between two and seven, and one if x is greater than seven. So writing that out without, will, will look like that. Okay, so f of x. Now to find the median. For the median, f of m is equal to a half. So we take the community distribution function uh, m and put it equal to a half. So we have to solve m minus 2 over 5 is equal to a half. So it's m minus 2 is equal to 5 over 2. M will be equal to uh, 2.5 plus 2, which is 4.5, which we expect it to be. It's halfway between 2 and 7. For the interquartile range, Q1, the lower quartile, F of Q1 is 1 quarter. So Q1 minus 2 over 5 is equal to a quarter. Q1 minus 2 is 5 and a quarter. So Q1 will be 3 and 1 quarter. And then f of q3 is equal to 3 quarters, q3 minus 2 over 5 is 3 quarters, q2 minus uh, 2 is 15 over 4, so q3 will be 5 and 3 quarters. The interquartile range, which you write like that, is q3 minus q1, so it's going to be 5 and 3 quarters minus 3 and a quarter, which is 2 and a half. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the mean variance community distribution function using formally given. Uh, you need to learn the formula for the community distribution function. Also, using the community distribution function, we have found the median and the interquartile range. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.